What's up, Bullbridge? I'm Julia. And I'm Julian, and welcome back to the Nightly Wrap-Up. The football team is having an outstanding season. They are coming off back-to-back -back wins over Sayreville and Trenton and are currently 7-2 on the season. The team is in the state semifinals for the third year in a row and plays South Brunswick for the chance to go to the state championship. Make sure to get out to South Brunswick tonight to support the team and help the Knights to make it six wins in a row. Check this out. I think that our practices, we make it like real tough so that during the game everything just flows and there's no questions. Everybody just does what they have to do to win on a Friday night. Well, we have a really great coaching staff and they try to prepare us as much as possible. They, do the, they make great game plans to help us out during the week and give us scouting reports so we'll be able to understand our opponent. I'd say as a team um, in general, like from a little kid's perspe perspective, when I played football for uh, Rowan and Bay and those kids who played for the Rebels and for the Obridge Knights, we really look up to the Obridge High School football team kind of as role models and with wide eyes. So the end of the Sayreville game, it was, uh, it was real, like, emotional. Like, after, after we scored, everybody, everybody just jumped on top of me, and we, we just felt like, uh, like a close family. We were already a family, but it felt like I, I had my brothers on me, everybody was protecting me, and everybody did what they had to do. We had everybody blocking. Everybody trying to get me through the hole, and when I finally made it, I just felt amazing. Yeah. So this Thanksgiving, we have a big game against East Brunswick, and if we win, we're gonna be we're gonna win the Red Division. We'll be the second team in Oberich history to do that. South Brunswick is a really good opponent. They have some playmakers who can do some damage to us, but I think we're ready for tonight. Uh, we saw them in the first game of the season, and we lost them, and it affected us, but in a good way. Because all season we've consistently gotten better and you know as a team we've noticed how much closer we've gotten and how much uh, better we're playing since our first game against South Brunswick so really I think that you know beating South Brunswick and then going to Rutgers and uh, having a, a very big game state championship game second in like two years it's gonna be a big deal. Hey Marco. What? Why did the apple ask out the banana? Why? Because he found her so Appealing! <laughs> this is no time for jokes. Who are you? The name's Chief Berry, and there's been a murder. <gasps> well, an attempted murder. Oh. Okay. So where were you during the attempted murder of Peggy Sweetwater? Uh, of course, I was making my dish of well, I would. I was not at the crime scene. I was at home playing Monopoly. Well, villain I. We were looking for more day, boot day. Now can we go? And you, sir? I'm Monopoly. My man servant Giles was feeding me a banana. <sighs> well, I was staring at myself in a mirror, dreaming about an expedition I've been planning to go on. Still with me? Yeah. Well, I was categorizing new and significant flora species that are called... Okay, that's, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. And where were you during the attempted murder of Miss Peggy Sweetwater? I am Miss Peggy Sweetwater! A state playoff game and the fall comedy both on the same nights, 
Everyone in Obert should be out tonight. Let's pack both houses. I'm glad I saw the play last night so I can go to the game tonight. I saw it too. It was hilarious. If you're not going to the game, make sure to check it out. This is going to be one great Friday night. The only thing I can think of better than this is using science to blow up some pumpkins. Wait, what? It's like Mythbusters in Old Bridge. Two science classes blew up pumpkins. First word sounds like uh, Marco. Annoying. Ugly. Not as good as me. Oh, head. Head. X. Uh, family Feud. Steve Harvey. Cross, cross. Head, cross. Head, red, cross. Oh, that wasn't the easy way to do it. You could have just done this. Hey, Brad, what are you doing? Hey, Karai. I'm about to donate to the You Give Goods for the Island Rescue Campaign. What's that? Oh, it's this website on the district page where you can donate goods to the people of Puerto Rico. Oh. I'm donating to the senior class. I want us to win. Wait, it's a competition? Count me in. Let me get this credit card. Did I hear competition? Yeah, it's actually really cool. All the grade levels are going to compete against each other, and whoever raises the most goods is going to get to win a trophy. The juniors are going to win. No, the seniors are going to win. Wait, what happens after that? This year, they're going to do this all again next year, and we get to hand down the trophy to whoever wins. So I think Mr. Cinedino is calling it the Turkey Bowl. The Old Bridge Red Cross has teamed up with You Give Goods and the Salvation Army to give much-needed items to the people of Puerto Rico. To help donate, go onto the district's website today, click on the Island Rescue page, go to the high school's link, and then to your grade to help donate as a part of your class. That's a great idea. It's always the right thing to do to help others in need. Yes, it is. And another way you can do that is to bring in a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child to Mr. Brown's room before Monday at 9 o'clock. There are instructions on how to pack a shoebox on the Operation Christmas Child website. Show some love, guys. Remember, no show next week. So from all of us here, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Make sure to eat way too much and to give thanks for all you have. And with Veterans Day this past weekend, it makes us remember to thank a veteran when you might meet one. Always a great idea. A simple thank you for your service always works. Yes, it does. Well, that about does it from all of us. Remember, it's, it's always nice time to bridge. Two science classes blew up pumpkins. That was. Are they gonna say boom, dude? Yes, it does. Well, that about does it for us. It's always nighttime in Old Bridge. I messed that up. <laughs> it's not like I've been doing this for like a month.